My name is Jay McNeil. I am 21 years of age and since the age of 13 I was faced with the news that I have a disability known as Autism Spectrum Disorder. My autism affects me with multiple of multiple things. It doesn't affect me. Um, it affects me my memory wise. I, my, one of my things is that I can't say my name properly. With loads of autistic people, autistic people have um, a thing where they can be obsessed with one thing. My obsession is filmmaking. I love filmmaking and love being on the computers with Apple products. Only Apple products. These issues have had a big effect on me and my emotions. I'm here to tell you my story and how I overcame these issues. I began to pass school in 2006, uh, September officially in 2006, after a series of events which caused me not to be able to be at mainstream school, um, such as the form of bullying uh, I had, uh, which dropped my confidence down it did. Spa School is a London-based school catering for all special needs such as eye functional autism. It runs under a 1 to 4 ratio. Its aims are that all students are happy, safe and healthy to learn and to improve in behaviour, communication and social interactions. Jake and I, uh, we met, I think Monia introduced us to each other for the uh, Doctor Who uh, uh, film that we did that led into a series and I think the rest was about history then uh, you know we gone on as a long long friendship from now me and Jake's activities involved a lot of filming yes uh, a lot a, lo a load of stuff uh, Doctor Who uh, I had a small role in a film that he did but uh, yeah, that's the thing and also talking about things like you know like, uh, Batman Spider-Man you know Doctor Who and all that stuff and to this day, we still talk about it as well. Yeah. Um, I started spa school a bit later than everyone else. I did. Um, before that, I had a bit of a rough, um, a rough time. I did, and come in with no confidence at all and no friends. I met um, some ways it made some friends of it in my time that I will ne never forget and it will always, always be considered as a family to me. And since the year school I have moved on to doing a level 3 diploma course at Doncaster College. Considering he's just moved from the big city, um, he's doing really, really well. Um, especially when you take into consideration obviously his autism um, it's, a, it's a huge step for anyone but whether with someone with um, aut autism then I suppose a big step like this could be quite distracting or it could have negative effects on his education but it hasn't if anything he's, he's, he's flourished. Jake is usually the central character I suppose in our group um, he can be the life and soul of the group but he can also be the quietest member of the group um, depends on his moods he can take what you say quite literally like uh, a couple weeks ago I told him to shut up because he was getting on my nerves and he didn't speak to me for three hours uh, so he can get quite moody and quite quiet but you know something's wrong with him because he goes really quiet I notice um, a lot of what happens when he's in a bad mood is something that I do, go really quiet, you try and shut, shut yourself away from everybody else and you can tell straight away when he's not in a, a good mood at all. 
And then I think in them situations, I mean, from personal experience, it's best just to leave me alone on, just leave him alone that day and then you could come back tomorrow, happiest person alive, so. Although he's got autism, uh, I think as a group and as a friend, we've begun not to notice it. It's not become important. It's, it's something that makes him, everyone's made with different things. It's just one of his quirks. Unlike most sufferers with any type of disability, who might be non-verbal or unable to cope with day-to-day -day tasks, I am fortunate to be one who is able to talk and walk down the street without anyone realising I am a sufferer with autism. As you have heard, I still have moments where day-to-day -day living can be unmanageable in which this can cause an effect on myself and others who are around me. As with life, we are still all learning, and although this might take a bit longer for myself to manage these difficulties, I hope to accomplish these goals and live life to the full.